SQ. It's a madhouse, a madhouse! Uh, well, do sheep actually have a name? I just looked it up because I was looking for a picture of a blue sheep for earlier and got it. Oh! All right, here right. we go. Here we go. This is a good one. What's the highest? Wait, wait, you never answered oh, the last You're right. I'm sorry I didn't. Five months in captivity. They can live for two years. Or, sorry. What? Five months not in captivity. In captivity, they can live for two years. Which is interesting. I guess they, they're they not very good forgers unless they're in captivity. Too much competition. I don't know. Uh, both are is the actual name of the blue sheep. Or I probably butchered that, but interesting. I really thought it was five years. Yeah. Uh, A and E. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, interesting, Wolf Queen. Hmm. Okay, let's go to face mode. E. A. Oh, he didn't like that at all. All right. I want to show you one other thing with the hose, so I gotta build, we gotta get a rhino. So rhinos are gonna be in what? Uh, that is a blue sheep? They don't even look blue. Oh my. My life is a lie, guys. The blue sheep aren't blue. <laughs> what would a uh, rhino be in? What biome? Hmm. Uh, probably, uh, probably, a uh, plains, right? Like probably. grasslands or something? Yeah, probably grasslands, you're right. Right. <laughs> Mist Weaver. <laughs> Alright, so here's, I'm just gonna put, oh, we got up to 19 now. Huh? Oh, just, uh, I should have looked at all those animals. Oh, well. Um. <laughs> oh, rhino, please. The only reason I'm doing the rhino only reason actually okay we'll do an elephant instead Sri Lanka elephant go no, put the rhino and the elephant together there you go <laughs> we could put a hippo in there too well Lauren have you uh Heard of the blue pit bulls? No. I no, I have not either. Put a hippo in as well. This is going to be a really mix. Cannot place the animal. Oh, that's nice. Good to know that you can't. Well, that's kind of a bummer, but you can't put compatible, non-compatible animals in the same biome. So we wouldn't be able to do uh. our theory. I still like the idea of the chimpanzee in the bathroom, though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Alright, so now we need to really quickly, I don't care if they're hungry, I just want to do the enrichment so I guys can show you what happens when you do the hose. Or that's under animal care. Animal I do care. agree though, Mist, rhinos are pretty awesome. I do agree on that. They are. We've actually started watching, it. I think it's called The Zoo. And it's a show that basically goes around and, and get, it's like a document, you know, like they do the document for like this San Francisco Zoo or other zoos. Well, this is one where they put all the different zoos together. So like every episode is a different zoo that you go visit and have the documentary oh. of behind the scenes. It's, oh. it's kind of cool. So the last one we watched was on hippos. Nice. I will just say when they come out before they come to the, the exhibit, they are uh, rather dirty animals. They like to mark their territory if you get my drift. Hose them down! It was <laughs> your first reputation mountain. Yes, yeah, you go too. Cool. Yeah. Oh, raise her leg. There you go, buddy. Come here, hippo. Oh! He got us wet. Anybody jump on that one? I'll admit, I, I jumped the first time. Let's see if we can get the rhino to come. 
Now he's making himself dirt again. The blue sheep have the same coat color as the blue pits. Did you not see the goat color? Coat? Uh, no, I didn't. Let me relook at the picture you sent me. Come here, Ryan. They don't, they don't really look blue, though. Not from the picture you sent me. They look more like a gray... Like, yeah, like a gray color. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Like, I don't... Oh, here it comes. Charge! <laughs> He's charging us! Spray oh, him no. with water! <laughs> Spray him with water! The rhino is attacking! <laughs> oh, I'll get over here for you. Oh, there you go. Yep. There you go, buddy. Yep. Oh, yep. 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 Turn side. Oh, there you go. Yep, yep, yep. Here I come. You can only do that with certain animals, though. But all right, now I gotta go run around really quick and see if anybody else really needs to go to the bathroom. Hold on. <laughs> what is what? What is going on in your chat right now? <laughs> nice one, Bob. Oh, he's excited. Yes, kids, this is the uh, rhinos and the hippos and the alleys. And... Okay. You know, that's a, that's a little bit too much weight on his shoulder there. You're going to break his shoulder. Oh, jeez. Uh, you're about to slip off the edge there. Your sh your foot's not even on the edge. Oh, that's interesting. Hey, queen. hey, okay. hey! No PDA at my zoo. <laughs> Six feet apart. <laughs> All right, clean up the trash. Are, are you lost? Do you need some help? You look, uh, I don't know. You're looking for the bathroom, food. What are you looking for? Oh, you're just gonna walk away because I'm annoying. No, I have never heard of a blue pit bull before. Look, I, I'm here to help you. So what do you what do you what do you need? Oh, I I didn't mean to scare you. Sorry. Miss Weaver says to ask. Elder needs to be an expert. Oh jeez, on what? <laughs> hey, you're styling that backpack there, buddy. Look at that backpack. Man, that's styling. Why are they called blue though? They're they're gray too. Literally, both the blue sheep and the blue pit bull are gray. Unless I'm colorblind. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of excitement out of a chimpanzee. To see the excitement from Oh look, we have a baby chimp over there too. Even the the father's getting excited there. Hey! PDA! Three feet! Back it up! On chimpanzees in the bathroom? Wait, what? <laughs> Why would I be an expert on that? What, what, wait, 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 wait. Is this, uh, whoa! Hey, buddy! What, are you cur getting ready for curling there? Yeah, no, Wolf Queen, my my favorite dog is Huskies, so I'm more into Huskies than I am into Pit Bulls. Is it, wait a minute, is this Dick Van Dyke? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, what? whoa! <laughs> oh, he's getting ready for curling. Hard, hard, hard! Well, I lost man, my broom. Man, that guy is, <laughs> that guy's having way, that guy's having way wait, wait. too much fun at his job. Is that <laughs> Alex? I think that was Alex, but I hired when Alex was on the screen. He was a young guy. Hmm. Uh-oh. Where are we going now? We're going into the... The pit of despair. What the heck? Hey! Hey! Six feet! What is with these people in my zoo? Man. <laughs> Just take the bathrooms away and, uh, no, it's <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna do this. No, I'm not taking the bathrooms away, but you inspired me. 
Oh no, what have I done? Ah, let's see, where, where are those bathrooms? This is one? No, that's not a bathroom. Where are the bathrooms? I think Aluren took all the bathrooms. <laughs> Miss Weaver. Can't have a soup in it. No. Although, Miss Weaver, I did have one where I said, I was trying, I was like, forget it, I'm going to take you out of the park. You don't belong in my park anymore. I'm just going to sell them. And he actually, like, like, glitched through the fence and was walking down the park of my zoo. It's hilarious. I actually clipped it. It's actually pretty funny. It's like, uh, what are you doing, buddy? Okay, where are my bathrooms? Ooh, level Zumbi. 20. We got a cinnamon bear. Oh, is Zumbi is Zumbi's a show about uh, animals, Wolf Queen? I don't... It sounds familiar. Bathrooms are overrated. You know, you, you, you're not wrong about that. <laughs> it's a... Uh, costs a lot of money to go to the bathroom now. <laughs> It's free to get in the park, but if you want to go bathroom, it costs you. Yeah, they are overrated. You, you're right on that. I, I need to nerf them. We should all strive to be more like chimpanzees. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what? I wonder if you could do this. Oh, that's not what I do. Let's take a look. I don't think you can do this, but... No, 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 thank you, Queen. I am not into horror movies, but thank you for the invite. <laughs> horror is not a genre I'm normally into, but I did put it as a subathon goal to do a horror game on stream if that goal is reached. Me, me I, too. I hope I don't reach that goal. <laughs> Same, but it's there. Yep. But, you know, you can watch The Furious. There you go. We'll learn. I'm not a coward, miss. Well, I can't find the other bathroom. Alright, well, anyway, we're past our time by 15 minutes, but that's keeping up with normal. So we'll <laughs> save the zoo and rename the zoo and call it Insanity. No insanity. Because there was no insanity. I mean, Are minus, you sure about that? Minus the uh, janitor. That I don't know what was going on there. <laughs> I mean, I did not say this was a curling zoo. Oh, <laughs> oh come on. It's a B-rated movie. It's not that scary. Did all the drafts get moved? Yes, they did get moved over. over. Oh, there is one. Yes, there was one. One little one somewhere. Uh, I I don't know why it won't let me. It won't let me look at it. Uh, did you see what Bob said? It's like it's a visual glitch. Uh, comprise Cliff and Sandy. <laughs> uh, Miss Weaver says I just had some apple juice and thought it tasted strange, only for me to realize it was pear juice. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> that must that must pair well. Oh, oh, I'm here all night, folks. Literally. <laughs> yeah, that was appropriate. Is he an adult? <laughs> yep, he's an adult. All right, so I'm going to show you. So I can donate. So these are all the people. That, these are just random people playing online right now, right? So literally, as soon as I click this, it's going to come up on their screen and say, Sora Vasily just donated you. Oh, we got to do it. In honor of Raider, we got to make it whoever the Raider is. Right? Oh, boy. So Raider is getting the tip here. <laughs> They'll be like, ah, thank you. And we can donate. Who, who should we donate now? Let's see. Ice Cube, Sword Saint. Let's go to Sword Saint. All right, you're getting a rhino, and you're getting a rhino, and you're getting a rhino. Let's <laughs> have you guys going to get my food and get ready for another stream watch soon. Sounds good. 
Uh, by the way, I'm about to end the giveaway, so if anyone wants to get into it, this is the last chance before we switch over. Um, let's see. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll donate a few more. No animals to display. You have to find... So you have to find adult animals, and then you can donate your adult animals. Alright. Take donate. care, uh, Wolf Queen, and yes, your thank food. You. Thank you so much for coming out, Wolf Queen. I appreciate it, I really do. I might see you in Admiral's stream later. Alright. Uh, if you can hang on for one second, Wolf Queen, I'm gonna come right out. We're about to do the drawing. And I'll let you'll know if you won, because you have to be here for, to win. So give me one second, I'm about to end it. Anybody else want to get uh, in? Oh yeah, yeah. So stick around, Wolf Queen, just for the giveaway. Literally just just minutes away. But does anybody else want to get in? Last chance. Ten ten seconds. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Oh, 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 yep. oh, 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 I paused. Have some. Exclamation, enter space one. Ooh. Anybody else? Ooh. Four. Anybody else? Three. Two. You one. know what? Let me, you know what? I'll All do right. it. All right. Why not? Why not? And I will say this, guys, I am throwing the long dark in there. Oh, so. boy. And if anybody really wants a copy of the Zoo Tycoon, I will throw Zoo Tycoon in there. But. Oh, they boy. They say they want Zoo Tycoon. Ready? All right, we're closing to it. Watch it later. By the way, my name is in there because uh, I was doing a test because we had a glitch. So if I win, obviously we're re -rolling. There's no way I could take myself out. All right, closing right now. And we'll do a draw. Or did I already say? Nope. All right. Why didn't it draw the winner? Uh oh. Uh. It says draw another. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> Come on. No entries are left. Okay. That didn't work. Why didn't it work? No entries are left. You guys are all in there. We have to re-enter, I think. Yeah. Again. But <laughs> Hashtag <it's>, rigged. <laughs> all right. I'll, it, didn't, it didn't actually close. There we go. There we go. Miss Weaver, 88-1. Oh, Miss Weaver won! 25% chance. Oh, so, snap. let me write it down on the board. Second winner. Oh, snap. Miss Weaver Miss. won. So, here's what we're going to do. At the end of my stream, I will go ahead and, and send out. Um, unless, Miss, you went long dark. It's totally right, not rigged. <laughs> but, um, I will only have one copy of Miss of long dark. So. Um, but, anyway, I will we'll do the winners. Awin gets to choose first. And then Miss Weaver gets to choose after that. Uh, the next game we're playing is Tex Murphy, and we will be starting the drawing as soon as I switch over. So, but I am going to take a lunch break, so I will go into intermission to get my lunch break. Uh, let me put on intermission here. Come on. No, you're not allowed. Apparently, it, intermission disappeared. Probably the chimp took it to the bathroom. There it is. Okay. Oh, look at there. There's my nice little wolf costume. All right, let's go ahead and get out of the game. And then I will put on the music and we'll take our little break. Should I get food too? If you want. Anybody can get food if they want. We'll probably take about six to 10 minute break. Six to 10 minutes. Which music are, or the counters are start. I'll restart that. All right, there we go. So I will be back in a little bit, and then we will restart a new drawing. See you in a little bit, guys.
and a little bit of chicken fry. Cold beer on a Friday night. Hello all, I'm back. I see it, the timer restarted itself, so. All right, we'll turn that off, turn that off. All right, we'll get a new drawing started. All right, got a new drawing started there. Exclamation enter. Congratulations again to Eowyn and to Miss Weaver, the first two winners. So we got, we're playing uh, Tex Murphy. Um, got my lunch here so we're good to go and we'll play text murphy for depending on if you guys want me to we'll play for two hours or we'll switch i've got just kind of like a chill for one hour where we can play some uh, really cool i well it's a fmv solitaire game kind of looks kind of fun so we could do that or if you guys are really are into text murphy we could do that for two hours and then at the uh three hour mark we're switching to the long dark and i had it scheduled for two hours because I gave Star Wars four hours, but we could bump Long Dark a little bit longer, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, Bob says country music. Uh, no, it was electro, or it was like fantasy music. All right, let me go ahead and put us in. Hey, back.
Good timing, Miss Weaver. I'm back too. By the way, we have a new entry, so exclamation enter space. A new inter, a new giveaway has started, so exclamation enter space one for the tickets. Um, we're gonna play Tex Murphy, like I said, for about an hour. If you guys are really into it, we'll play for two hours. I like Tex Murphy, so I won't have a problem with that. I have a chill game that we can play for like one hour between before our long darks, which would start at three. So we'll see where we're gonna go with that. Um, let me see if I can find my fedora really quick. Give me one second, because it, it would fit with the long dark if I can find the fedora. Um, so give me a second, I'm gonna put on text Murphy, and I'm gonna load it up in a minute. So give me one second. Let me just see if I can find my fedora. I should have looked for it last night. I am back as well. Welcome back. I'm just looking for my fedora because it would really fit for our stream for the next part if we can find it. But I don't think I'm going to fight it, so I might just have to do without it. Because such is life. Alright, let me take one more quick look. No such, luck? No luck. Such is life. No fedora. Man, where did that go? I don't know. I have two of them. I have a feeling Elsa took it somewhere. But yes, I'm blaming it on my daughter. <laughs> but it's not there, so I don't know. Can't make it match. Oh, wait. Might be down here. Last chance, maybe. No. Nope. Well, I was hoping it was in there. Could oh, okay. She might have put it all the way down the bottom. If she did. It's gonna be squished. No, nope, it's not there. Okay. Well, we're gonna go with no fedora. Such is life. Sorry, because I don't really. I have a Star Wars hat, but. Uh, Bob believes it's on Miss Weaver. Welcome back, Bob. Man. All right, so here we go. So again, miss. reminder everybody, we we just started a new giveaway for this game, uh, and now we have to find new trivia. So give me one second. And I also have to change the title too. So. Uh, let's see. There we go. That's a good one. That well. No, I don't like that one. No, come on. Ads. Uh, let me change the title. Hang on. There we go. Okay, title's changed. Let me load the game. And Played this game before? I didn't play the Under the Killing Moon. I played the uh, Tesla effect. Ah! 
Sorry, I know that was way too loud for you guys. Let me turn down the sound. If I can. Oh, there you go, volume. Here, poor you. Sorry about that. Let's test it. Look, prophecies aren't in my job description, okay? I'm just a humble PI trying to save the world as we know it. Is that still too loud? Or is that just right? We could actually... Well, you guys can be the judge. We can actually switch over to Overseer. Overseer is the next game up. It might be a little better. Sounds good? Okay. All right, so we'll say okay to that. New game. So Razzly. There we go. Bob's too loud for this weaver. <laughs> They want copy down the flame. Oh. Is it not gonna be as though? Yeah. Is it not gonna give us the intro? Hopefully it will. So last night, after 15 years, the colonel walks into my office. Made me take a good hard look at myself. Maybe I have hit bottom, and maybe I do look like hell. Lord knows the only exercise I've had lately is tipping the bottle and flipping cards into my hat. Oh. I gotta find some work. Contrary to what the colonel might think, I'm as good a detective as he ever was. Now I just gotta prove it. I'm gonna scare up a job today, even if it means finding somebody's lost puppy. Give me one second, I forgot I gotta do one thing. Gotta... Gotta put the radio on. This is rated PG-13, just because of suggested things. So, there's the warning from that one. So, oh no, not suggestive things. Yeah. Miss, Miss Weaver, run away! You're too, you're too young and innocent <laughs> for this young. game. So, uh, <laughs> anyone, you might want to skip this one. I don't know what Star Wars Survivor is going to have either. If there's anything in that one, but all right, so we'll just. What? <laughs> All right. I, it, it's just saying if there's little kids that are watching with parents, they might not want little kids watching because it's rated PG-13. Like, what suggested things? Well. Uh, <laughs> hang on. This is why I don't alt-tab in this game. Okay. Hang on. I know how to fix this. <laughs> you gotta come here and you gotta switch it and then switch back. And I think that fixes the problem. No. <laughs> You're breaking your uh, game. Alright, we might be going to Overseer on this one because of the being so old, it's hard to display it. Just a shame because I wanted to. We'll try it once more. I wanted to show you. Uh, let's see. Learn, you can do pretty much everything. I won't need alt tab, I think, right? Um. As did long you as, try? As long as you're here, obviously, but. Y yeah, I mean, if it's a command, I can do it. Yeah. Alright, we might skip on the detective stuff because I can't find any good trivia for detectives. Unless the lawyer wants to find something, and he can give us our trivia. I wouldn't be a good source <laughs> of that information. I found like all this stuff are like literature, fake fantasy. I'm like, no, I want like real detective, like what are terms of things, you know? But, all right, let's try it once more. If it doesn't work, we'll go to the... I don't have Lothar set up, Bob. I really don't. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I couldn't even tell you where I was, what I'm questing on. The only thing I know I do need to do is pay rent. Although I do, uh... What's a Lotro? Oh no. Okay. Here we go. So as long as I don't alt tab, I should be fine. Ah, the fabulous Dior lamp. I bought it for 77 cents. 
Yeah, don't be a Miss Weaver. Miss Weaver likes to break games by alt tabbing, right, Miss? Oh, we don't need to travel yet. Cancel that. Oh, that's right. Spacebar moves you. Forgot. Oh boy. Um. No, that's look down. <laughs> it's been way too long. Oh my goodness, those. Oh, that. Oh wow. <laughs> it's almost like doom. You. <laughs> This weaver says I break allure on a daily basis. So watch your like words, a... Ranger. I forgot how to move. Alright, hang on. Config. Man, this this game is wow. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna go we're gonna go to Overseer. Because Overseer is a step up. I was going to do the, because I've never done them, I was going to do the DOS ones with you, but those don't, yeah, I couldn't get them to work at all. Also, uh, just so everyone knows, Sword already knows because I told him, but um, I am going to be dipping out here any minute because it looks like Admiral's getting ready to start yes. his Final Fantasy stream. So I will be over with him on his stream, and then I will be rejoining Sword once he ends. So... Uh, let's see. Okay, we're gonna do Overseer. Let's look at Overseer and see if that works better for us. Bob says very classic. Uh, yeah, yeah, Kaiden is also streaming Final Fantasy tonight, too. I'll probably uh, stop in his stream for a bit as well, just to say hi, but I'll be mostly start? I'll be mostly around S.W.O.R.D. tonight. Okay. There you go. Huh. We can't run in either. Well, that was fun. All right, let's go to the other one. Can we run uh, Pandora Directive? Let's see if we can run that one. Have you gotten it working? I think this one's gonna work. Maybe. <laughs> he 
You can tell it's old just from that audio quality. <laughs> yeah. I thought about doing Tesla Effect again, but we already played that one, so. The first three we hadn't played. And the first two originals are on DOS. But they're like. We're talking like arcade or Atari. Oh, wow. So I'm like, I'll just play those on my own off stream. Wasn't the Tesla Effect like newer, though? Yeah, Tesla Effect came out like two or three years ago. And they're still rumoring another one. But. Again, PG-13 rating, everybody. So you got kids. Last chance to get them out of the room. Flee! Flee for your lives! Hey, Miss Weaver, thank you for the lurk. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be so clumsy. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. Go back to sleep. Man, those pixels, though. Yeah. But, at the time, this was, like, cutting edge. Oh, I'm sure. Here, Bob. Take the newspaper. Let's run across the street. Because the director told us to. Well, this looks like a swinging joint. Man, that that old guy should have been doing uh doing sweeping like that guy in Zoo well, Happy Birthday. <laughs> I know. I was just thinking you don't look a day over twenty five. Oh, did you update the Liar. game on um OBS by the way? I've been feeling very stuck lately. Uh, you know, I cannot title? remember the last time I was surprised by anything. Can uh, you? Let me refresh well, before I. I, was I did. By you. Well, you know what? I'm I mean. refreshing. I mean, I'm just surprised that we're able to stay good friends. Oh, but God, oh, it's it's okay. I have to say it's under Kelly Moon. It's just a different different game, so that should be fine. She says it's nice. I think the change would do me good. I don't want to take the chance of um. Yeah, I think you love it down there because they're square yeah, dancing fair. and ten gallon hats and armadillo hunting and macho yokels with names like Tex. So tell All me. Right. Uh, I am okay, moving, so right. I will Sounds see good. you. Well, you know, I will see you in uh, like, like five or six hours when I return for some Genshin. Sounds good, my friend. At least right. here, you got your friends right. checking Get out. Get you later. Yep. It's dangerous everywhere. I mean, especially here. I mean, did you hear about that co-ed? Someone murdered her in her own bedroom. I didn't hear about that. Who killed her? Well, the newspaper said it might be a serial killer. They gave him some kind of crazy name. I don't know, I I can't remember what they called him. Well, doesn't that stuff scare you? I mean, I'm a tough guy and it scares me. I appreciate your concern, Tex, but I have been fine on my own for a long time. I'll be lurking for a bit. Uh, it's going to have to lunch with my wife. Sounds good. I'll back in later for Long Dark. Sounds good. Uh, like I said, Long Dark should be around. What is it? Three o'clock? Got a big date? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, three cotton. Pint, pint of hockey dust. Hold me down. See you later. What a schmuck. What? Chelsea was giving you opportunities all evening and you blew every one of them. The same P.I. you are. So you wouldn't know a clue if it walked up and punched you in the face. Listen, all I know is, every time I try and ask her out, have a good lunch, Bob. She turns me down. It's from the distinguished gentleman in the corner. Hey, Lure, and thanks for the lurk. Care who is that lightsaber? He bought you a bourbon. We might be able to upgrade the graphics when we get into the game. Let's wait and see. Oh, good evening, good evening. Gordon Fitzpatrick is my name. Please sit down, sir. You know, I am not in the habit of eavesdropping, but I do believe I heard someone say that you were a private detective. That's right. I'm a licensed private investigator. Oh, delightful. It's a pleasure indeed to meet you and your name. Murphy. Tex Murphy. Tex Murphy. Well, 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 well. This is fine. Now listen, let me ask you this, Mr. Tex Murphy. Have you in your work ever had the occasion to seek for a missing person? Sure. <laughs> I can do that. Who hasn't? Well, then perhaps we could do some business. I think we can work something out. My office is just around the corner. The Ritz Hotel. Why don't we go there? I like your office. Oh yes, the ambiance is very authentic. Reminds me of those, uh, you know, those old detective stories that I used to watch when I was a kid. I'm sure that at any moment, Sam Spade is I'm marching through that door, but then who needs Sam Spade when I've got Tex Murphy standing in front of me? Did you That's always right. want to be a private eye? As far back as I can remember. Mm -hmm. Why don't you have a seat, Mr. Thank you, Beth. Yeah, while all the other kids were logged on to Sesame Street Interactive, I was reading Hammett and Chandler. It must be quite an exciting life. Oh, it's got its moments. Don't get me wrong, it's not like the movies. It sure as hell doesn't pay very well. But it suits me. So what can I do for you, Mr. Fitzpatrick? Well, I'm trying to find an old acquaintance of mine, Thomas Malloy, Dr. Thomas Malloy. The last official address for him that I have is the Ritz Hotel. Now, do you happen to know him? Can't say that I do. That's well, very important that I find him. You know, let me give you a little background. For many years, I was a research scientist and I worked alongside Dr. Malloy. But about 20 years ago, maybe, I guess something like that, our paths diverged and I lost touch with him, and he with me. And then very recently, I saw a photograph of him in a local newspaper. Now, it's a strange thing how time is such a natural equalizer makes us appreciate the faces from one's past at any rate the older gentleman in that photograph is dr malloy and i contacted the newspaper to find out where the photograph had been taken it was at the san francisco technical university well i hiked right out there got to the campus and decided to look the man up and surprise him even with that photograph no one recognized him. No one knew his name. But then I received a strange phone call from a young woman named Sandra. The man I knew as Thomas Malloy, she knew as Tyson Matthews. She seemed wow. quite uncomfortable talking on the vid phone, 
so I suggested we meet. She never showed up for that appointment. That's not good. You never heard from her again? You know, it's strange. But this simple, whimsical wish of mine to get together with my old friend has materialized into, I don't know, I feel a sense of impending doom. I fear for the young woman, and I fear for my friend, Dr. Malloy. It sounds interesting. I think I can look into this for you. Thank you. Now, you'll have to refresh my memory. How much... How much is your fee? How does it work? I charge $500 a day. Of course. Plus expenses. Naturally. I think you could have got higher than that one. There, that should be enough to get you started. And here, here somewhere, there you go. I can be reached at that number. I'll be in touch. I feel we're off to a good start. Not right, Mr. Fitzpatrick. This is the first cash I've had in months. Four grand. I owe Louie 200 bucks, and Rook says I owe him 300. But there should be plenty left over. Yes, sir. Things are definitely looking up. Oh, Ben. Did you really just rip the check? Search for Malloy. Well, what we know is Malloy stayed at the Ritz, so I think we need to go there first. Seems like a good place to start for me. Search. Fitzpatrick didn't give me much to go on. Just the newspaper photo of Malloy and the fact that Malloy stayed here at the Ritz. Still got and the same layout. Girl Fitzpatrick referred to but Sandra. It will run Maybe a I can better. track her down. First, I need to find out which apartment Malloy was staying in, and then get into it. That means I got to deal with Nilo, my landlord. It's the second week of April, and I'm a little late on my February rent payment. All right. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save. Let's do a save because I want to see what. I want to see what alt tabbing does if we get back our game. I'm hoping we will. And then let me do one thing. Let's just get the exact right title. Okay, there we go. And then we'll come back in. Let's see if it... Mm, that's what I was... Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. So let's see if I can figure out how to get it back. If not, we can... That's why I saved it, so we can just go back and come back into it. But let's see. Um... Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Not a big deal. I was afraid this would happen, but it's not a big deal. So, task manager. Um, I'll just restart the game. But it's weird because it says 
you want to play it without DOSBox? And I say yes, and then it defaults to DOSBox. So we're just going to load our game. Resume. There we go. All right, so you put space. Why won't configure? Well, you might not be playing it if I can't move. And we might be just switching to our solitaire game for two hours. Because it's not let me choose how to move. Okay, well, that's problematic. Because it's not let me do what I need to do. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's not what I thought was going to happen. All right. This was this was my big question mark of doing this in the game. I didn't know if it would work or not. Um. All right, let's just do this. Oh, it's just the mouse. This door connects to my right. This door leads downstairs. That's the way back to my... That's where I want to go. There we go. I got it now. Well, Fooey, we could have done... Um... This office was a dance studio before I moved in. We could have done... Um... This picture was taken of my ex-wife on her 25th birthday. Yeah, she was gorgeous. Makes me wonder sometimes why we couldn't make it work. That's a New York Times bestseller, Men Are Imbeciles, Women Are Erratic. My mom sent this to help me with my love life. I've read the first chapter and I think the author's a hermaphrodite. Between my wedding ring and this picture of my ex-wife Sylvia, I will never, ever forget that women are alien creatures capable of great destruction. And I really need to find some stuff to put in here. I really need to find some stuff to put in here. I really need to find some stuff to put in here. Well, that won't work. There you go. I really need to find some stuff to put in here. Another can of Eat the Rich Dog. I really need to find. need to find some stuff to yeah, another bill final notice your account is still good must be paid immediately I really need Okay. I've had
pad this jack now. Get the knife. Park of Beans! No. Eat the rich dog food. A little gamey, but not bad for the price. Okay. I picked this book up at Rook's for a quarter. It's worth every penny. Guitar. I got this from my grandpa, Audie Murphy. It was signed by Richie Havens. Grandpa said he was the original singing detective. Hmm. I haven't played my phonograph since it destroyed the A-side on my Bill Shatner Sings the Blues LP. Well, you don't, you don't want to lose that. I mean, Bill Shatner, I mean, no idea. This is my official. I should probably stop by the newsstand and see if Chelsea's upset with me about last night. Okay. I've been trying to get her to go out with me for years now, and just when I think I might be getting somewhere, I stick my big foot in my mouth. Well, now I got some money, and maybe she'll give me another chance to let me take her out to dinner. Okay. So all these games, guys, I know the graphics are cheesy, but the story is great, and so is the acting, or is voicing. Hey, I'm, you know, I'm sorry about last night. Is that so? Why? Playing hard to get, huh? Okay, I'll play your little game. I'm not in the mood, Tex. Oops. You know, this is not a game to me. I have a lot of big decisions to make, and maybe I need to get away to make them. Hey, everybody needs some space sometimes. Go if you have to, but I'll be waiting when you get back. Thanks, Tex. I'll keep that in mind. So what's up? Well, I got a bunch of cash, but I got nothing to do with it. I figured I'd go out to dinner tonight, but I hate to eat alone. Are you interested? What, like a date? Oh, come on, go out with me. I'll even take a shower. I'm just not in the mood to go oh. out. No, it'd be more like two friends having a great meal and maybe some stimulating conversation. I guess that'd be okay. I mean, yeah, that'd, that'd be all right. You know, Tex, I haven't really been myself lately, and I really appreciate you looking out for me. Hey, this is going to be my pleasure. So what are you in the mood for? You know, I heard Weenie World put tater tots on the menu. <laughs> I've got a better idea. Why don't you let me make you dinner at my place? It's cheaper than going out. And uh, besides, I have uh, something I'd like to talk to you about. Oh. Let's say, uh, 8 o'clock? Well, you talked me into it, Miss Pando. Well, I feel so spoiled. By the way, what should I bring, red or white? You better bring both. Oh. Finally. After years of relentless pursuit, Chelsea's inviting me over to her apartment for dinner. Oh man, the possibilities are making me woozy. Okay, snap out of it, Murphy, and let's get back to work here. Maybe I should head over to the Ritz and see if Nilo's at the front desk. I'm sure he'll be happy to see me. Alright, so we'll go over to the Ritz. Going over to the Ritz. Hold it right there, you sneaking piece of slop. 
Uh -oh. Calm down, Nilo. I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat> Damn straight you ain't. Where's my money? You owe me three months back rent, pukehead. Come strolling in here like some kind of so son three hundred dollars heaven. Cough it up. I guess you don't count so good. You owe me twenty one hundred. Okay. Yeah, that's more like it. Look, Nilo, I'm working on a case. If you help me solve it, maybe I'll have money to pay rent next month. No comprendi. Yeah. That's better, amigo. Never heard of him. So this is where you just go and ask about people. I ain't familiar with that name. Recognize the man in this photo? Yeah, I've seen him before. What can you tell me about it? He used to stay here. I'm gone now. Which room did he stay in? Hey. What name did he use when he signed in? Matthews. Tyson Matthews. Okay. Well, thanks for the help. Oh, the pleasure was all mine. P. Bray. Hmm. We only stayed here a couple of weeks. Paid up front for two months. But he's too late to get a refund. What are you asking about me for? You want to ask me out on a date? No. Nope. Ah, nicest guy on the street. Me and him, we talk the same language. I'd like to wipe the smile off that fat guy's face, but he ain't a bad cook. <laughs> I got a few things I'd like to teach that, Chelsea, if you know what I mean. Look, as long as you pay the rent, I don't care if you're the queen of freaking England. Okay. Apartment A is through the door by Nilo's desk and up the stairs. Nilo's had a hard time keeping tenants, so Malloy was probably the last person to stay in the room. Hopefully I'll find a lead once I get inside. Okay. This door leads to the... Up, 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 up. There. And then he said it was an A. What a scumbag. Nilo knew I couldn't get into the apartment without the code. Now he'll probably want to charge me a few hundred bucks for it. This rate, I'm going to be broke again in a hurry. So, this is where Malloy stayed. The beginning of the trail. Okay, so I gotta get us code. This door. Come here, ya worm. Nilo is under. What do you want? I'm busy here. So how much is it going to cost me to get some cooperation, you slimy scumbag? <laughs> Look at the pot, calling the kettle black. Five hundred bucks. Five hundred bucks? Well, I'm not going to give you another dime. You give me the information or I'll turn that mug of yours into taco meat. Okay. Uh, on account of my good mood, I won't charge you. Besides, I can't fit any more of your money in my pocket. <laughs> Nyla looks around. The code is 4827. 4827. 
That doesn't seem to do anything. So then we move back here. This door. Then we go back in. We could have done another Kelly Moon. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe we'll do it on another stream. So. Four, eight, two, seven. Oh, Murphy. Mm. Murphy. <laughs> Ladies and waiting. Molasses. Yeah, another swell case for San Francisco's favorite punching bag. I suppose the fact that someone knocked me out must mean I'm on the right track. <sighs> Whoever hit me did a thorough job. Must have interrupted his search of the apartment. Maybe that means he overlooked something. All right, so now I gotta look and see if we can find anything. Look at all those drawers. Yeah, it looks like a... This warehouse is just down the street from the Ritz. Whoever wrote this has worse penmanship than I do. Either that or it's written in some weird... Okay. These boxes are empty. Hmm, no play, Bob. I never look at these personally, but I do remember this one. It was the Amazon Woman edition featuring 37 pages of full color pictures. Nice. Looks like a letter. Okay, yeah, that's like a letter. I wonder who this David Wright is. Dear Thomas. More importantly, if Malloy's been to his cabin in Oregon. Dear Thomas, I'm delighted to receive your letter after all these years. It sounded as though your work is progressing well. Look forward to having a few of, of all night discussions, just like the old days. You are certainly welcome to stay at my cabin as long as you'd like. It's extremely secluded, a place for you away from prying and eyes. I can't meet you for at least a week, but I'll get there as soon as I can. In the meantime, there's a key under the brick by the front steps. I've come across an uh, item you'll find quite interesting. I look forward to working on exchange of information. The cabinet is located exactly 8.4 miles southwest from a small town in Oregon called Sam and Mary. You probably need to find a good map. It'll be good to see you once again, David Wright. Now 
Now there's no. Now there's no lock on. Now there's no. Sheriff says. Looks like Rook did some business with Mr. Malloy. I want. So we can go get the. Maybe hopefully Rook will let us have it. Whatever it is. Okay, so we're ready to move on, maybe? I don't know. Maybe we are. And what's that? Ooh, this scarf reeks of cheap perfume. I guess Malloy must have had a lady friend in for a visit. And if the lady friend wore this scarf anywhere else in the neighborhood, she'd be pretty hard to forget. Maybe I should show this thing around and see what I can find out. That door. Oh man, Chelsea's gonna kill me. I didn't realize how long I was out. I don't know, 16 hours. I was out cold straight through our dinner date. She's never gonna believe me. Okay, here we go. thing. The vid phone. The lamps are just for death. Nilo must have found these magazines in the dumpster out back. The only magazines he pays for are the naughty ones. Nilo had these plants laminated to save on upkeep. Huh. I Come on. This piece of notebook. Looks like Nilo's in for a busy and productive day. This door. Okay, so it appears Chelsea's not there. Oh, Chelsea's not at the newsstand. That's strange. I wonder if she's at her apartment. That door. Rook's been running his pawn shop since sometime before the Eisenhower administration. He's a crusty, mean-spirited little troll who's rumored to have a heart of gold. Yeah, sure. He lets me buy things on credit occasionally, but then he nags me ruthlessly until I pay up. We get along all right, as long as I keep my bills settled. Up already, Murphy. And it isn't even lunchtime yet. Or am I still asleep? Having a horrible, horrible nightmare. You know what my nightmare is, Rook? <laughs> I don't know, maybe you can relate to this one. It's waking up 30 years older, a foot and a half shorter, and uh, dog ugly. Very funny. At least I've never had a problem getting a woman to go out with me. Oh, Speaking snap. of which, how's Chelsea?
What Chelsea and I do, and how often we do it, is none of your business, is it? A bit sensitive, are we? Don't tell me things aren't going well for the two of you. I don't know. Why don't you tell me? You seem to know everything about everything. Well, all I know is she's too good for the likes of you. Well, I'll run naked through the streets before you two ever get together. Says you, you little squinty-eyed weasel. Care to make a little wager on whether or not Chelsea will go out with me? Why should I make a bet with you? Well, even if I won, you'd never pay me off. Speaking of which, where's the money you owe me? I got a pretty good feeling I'm going to make some decent cash off this case I'm working on. You can keep your pants on for a while longer and answer a few questions for me. I'll pay you back with interest. No deal, Murphy. First, you pay. Then we talk. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the 200... The 300. I owe you. Satisfied? Well, let's pop the champagne and have a parade. Murphy uh. paid me back. I'd love to drink some bubbly with you, Rook, but I'm pretty busy with the case. That's another reason why I stopped by. Ordinarily, Murphy, I'd tell you what to do with your irritating question. But after all you did pay me back, I suppose I can spare you a few moments. All right, let's ask you about some stuff. Oh, I'm gonna offer the, um... Where is that? There. I need to redeem this receipt. You didn't pawn this. Well, how much is it? Look, I'm willing to pay extra. Two hundred dollars. Yep, plus fifty dollars for it not being your receipt. Well, I hope my new purchase will help me out. Never heard the name in my life. Of course I've heard about it. I just doubt I know any more about it than you. How should I know who that is? I've seen this man before. He came into my pawn shop several weeks ago and pawned an item. If you want to find out what he pawned, I suggest you find him and ask him. That's the name of the man whose pawn receipt you brought in. Nylor's run the Ritz for years. He's a pig. But at least he pays cash when he buys something from me. Never heard the name in my life. Okay. You know enough about me. Louis's a good man. He seems to like you quite a bit. I can't figure out for the life of me uh, why. Whoa. Oh, Chelsea. If I were a younger man, you wouldn't have a chance with her. Now, I'll admit you have some skills as a PI. It's your social skills that need desperate help. Okay, so I end your conversation. Alright, let's try it. Let's see if we can go into the electronic shop. I don't know if we can. What's that? Some unlucky soul lost his wallet. So, my landlord dropped his wallet, and it's full of cash. Of course, I could return it. The electronic shop opened last year and I got to know the previous owner, Ham Underwood. I got an electronic shop credit card under somewhat shady circumstances and I ran up a good sized bill during my last case. I hear there's a new owner now, some guy named Zach Williams.
Uh oh. Hold it right there. Get your hands up where I can see them. All right. Now, take out your electronic shop credit card. Ah. Nice and easy. So you're Murphy. I just got your photo from the credit department. We were wondering when you'd show up here again. I got orders about you. Straight from corporate headquarters. <sighs> Sorry I gotta do this. But... Oh. Better off than I thought. Now then, what can I do for you? <laughs> Joke's on you, pal. That was my driver's license. <laughs> no, it wasn't. The reason we had to revoke your card is that you bought several items here about four months ago, and you haven't sent us a dime. So this is where you ask. Well, I'll tell you what. Choose a different How about I bring back all the stuff and we call it even? Your account is over 120 days delinquent, and you owe us $1,230. Ooh. Say what? That amount includes one fax machine, $399, one laser blade, $29, a film developing kit, $179. For that piece of crap? You bought it. And $623 in interest. What? $623 in interest. $623? Who do you finance through? The IRS? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> the interest charges were outlined on the application you signed. It's not my fault if you don't read fine print. Listen, I suggest you take the interest charges off my bill, or you're gonna get a visit from the Better Business Bureau. It doesn't matter who you talk to. If you don't pay the $1,230, you can't buy anything in here anyway. Come back when you're ready to settle your account. Oh, okay, well. This guy must... Ah, Mr. Murphy, have you decided to pay off your bill? Well, truth of the matter is, I'm still a little short on cash. Any way we can set up some payments? No financing. Come back when you can pay the full amount. Okay. Unless you're ready to settle your account, I suggest you take your business elsewhere. All right, all right. Here's your money. Now when do I get my new credit card? You don't. From now on it's cash only. If you see something you like, ask me about it. And I'll give you a price. Okay, how much money do you have left? 120 bucks. Memo pad. Jeez. Are they still trying to sell these things? Uh. The Robco Combuster. Now that's interesting. That is one old camera. I don't think they even make film for these anymore.
I used to have a battery pack like this for my Robco toys. To Zoe Watches. Last one I had broke down. Man. Now there's utility. A radio that doubles as a boat propeller. Photo analyzer. Most of the photos I've seen don't require much psychiatric help. That door. Okay, so obviously we're gonna probably have to buy something eventually. These doors lead. The Brew and Stew, Louis' Diner, is more of a home to me than my place at the Ritz. Louis's probably my best friend if I have one. He's always making sure I get enough to eat, and he runs me tabs for months at a time. My current debt is up to 200 bucks. But with the smell of fresh coffee and Louis' special home cooking, the Brew and Stew always has the welcome sign turned on. Mife! I noticed you talking to that old gentleman last night. I bet Rook 20 bucks that he hired you to do some work for him. Well, I'm happy to report that Rook owes you 20 bucks. Though I'm sure he's going to be real happy about paying off the bet. I think Rook's only nice to members of the fairer sex. And not too many of them. <laughs> so I was right. You did get a job. My client's looking for a friend of his. He's not having too much luck finding him. He gave me a nice advance to see what I could turn up. Congratulations, Mife. It must be a relief to be waking again. You said it. It's actually why I came down here. I'm hoping you can help me with the lead. All right, so offer... Ah, uh, no thanks. Okay, so this is when you ask for people. Ah, uh, sorry, Mike. Haven't heard of him. I'm pretty sure I've never heard that name. Yeah, I remember this guy. Came in here to eat a couple times. Probably a month ago. Ah, uh, sorry, Mike. Haven't heard of him. I remember this scarf and the perfume on it. Young, blonde girl came in here a while ago. In fact, she came in here with the guy in the photograph. I don't like to talk bad about people, so I got nothing to say about Nilo. I just saw him talking to you. That's about it. He took over the electronics shop when Ham left. I've been meaning to go introduce myself. Ah, Rook's just an ordinary son of a gun, but believe it or not, he's pretty soft underneath. What are you asking about me for? I ain't nothing special. One hour booth limit. I just Chelsea's the sweetest girl I've ever met. There's nothing I'd like more than to see you two together. Yeah, I've... You're okay in my book, Mife. No matter what anyone else says. Thanks, Louie. Flamingo. The future flamingo certainly has the nicest doors on the street. Doesn't look like him. I guess this letter didn't quite make it into the mailbox. 
Uh-oh. Moral dilemma. To mail or not to mail? That is the question. That's not a question. I may regret this the next time I'm eating dog food for breakfast, but right now it feels pretty good. This place is... This place... Glories of vegetarian diet. Coco Cabana was just opened by a reformed bum named Clint. I met him during my last case when he was living in a dumpster in an alley behind Rook's pawn shop. Yep, that was him. Yeah. You know, Clint, some men, they just can't wear a toupee. But it looks pretty good on you. Yeah, and that's what your mom told me, right before I slapped the handcuffs on her, like I do every Saturday night. Okay, well I can tell you're just in one of your moods. How about serving me up a nice vanilla frogert? Ah, vanilla's for pansies. The only thing I serve here is pure creamy chocolate. And if that's too strong for you, then I get lost. Okay, well, let's uh, see the menu. Oh, your house special looks interesting. Flint's enchanting chocolate chili. Does that come con carne? Hey, read the sign again, bonehead. It says, sorry, no carne. Besides, I ate, I mean, I'm all out of the chocolate chili. Sorry. Oh, man. Tell you what. Why don't you surprise me? I'd like something tasty, but not too rich. Sorry, I happen to be out of everything at the moment. In fact, I was just about to close up for the day. So unless you have something important on your mind, well, why don't you just run along? Nope, drawing a complete blank. Oh, I wish I could help you. Ever heard of her? Nope. Drawing a complete blank. Oh, I wish I could help you. I've seen this scarf before. A girl came by here wearing it. Really? Nilo, an open sore on the face of humanity. Ooh. At one point, I had to choose between living at the Ritz and living in the dumpster. I took the lesser evil. Totally unfamiliar to me. That blood-sucking tightwad, he wanted me to pay rent for living in the dumpster outside of his pawn shop. He's that new guy running the electronic shop. That guy's a real gem. Hell of a cook. Chelsea's a nice girl. But whatever happened between us was over long ago. Don't let the torch she still carries for me stand in your way. Uh. All right. You brought me a chocolate pie when I was on the skids. I'm indebted to you for the rest of my life. You're a god. Happy? <laughs> I don't think you're happy. Fly my speeder to the Four Gables apartment building where Chelsea lives. Luckily, or maybe not, she doesn't answer the door. For the time being, I can save my groveling apology for later and go back to working on my case. Uh, 
All right, let's go ahead and give Milo back his. No. <laughs> ah, got a whole new respect for you, snot face. Nilo hasn't had this vending machine stocked since I. Ooh, we got something. Oh. Sheesh. This sandwich is about as fresh as Nilo's undershirt. That's kind of gross. Bonsoir, dopey. So you just going to stand there and stare at my beautiful face? I don't know any ladies by that name. I ain't familiar with that name. Nope. Okay, so... Let's go to our office. I'd run naked through a nuclear reactor core before I'd set foot in there. A gentleman of the old school, like myself, would never enter the Forbidden Zone. I don't make a policy of getting to know my neighbors. I don't make a policy. So we're obviously on the... This... My parents found this in the attic and sent it to me. I remember the pastoral days of my early youth, riding on my trusty Mount Striper, chasing bank robbers and horse thieves. And all that came to an end one summer afternoon during an electrical storm. The lightning struck a transformer near our home, creating a tremendous power surge. Oh. It was after the accident that my brothers and sisters started calling me Tex. Whenever I asked them, they'd just laugh and wink at each other. I never did find out about that nickname. Okay. I'll pick up these clothes next time I'm expecting someone else in my bedroom. Yeah, if I had a chance of that. This is the certificate and a copy of the check the Mutant League gave me after my last case. I used the cash to expand my office, buy some furniture, and pay off my debts. That left me with four dollars and twelve cents. <laughs> That's the way back to my office.
The scanner brings back some truly fond memories. I wonder how Trixie's doing. Took me forever to get this diploma. I had to send in a hundred proofs of purchase from True Detective. Huh. The 60 day warranty just ran out on my electronic shop fax machine. Aw, oh, man. Should break down any minute now. My new vid phone is essential to my business. Thank goodness it's easy to operate. I had the vestibule added. Oops. I used to play basketball two or three times a day when I was younger. Now, after I watch Jeopardy, I need a nap. The garbage can to person ratio is pretty high in this part of the country. Super sensitive. That's a man. Oh. Whoever's responsible. I think I'll let that ball. Oh, play, Bob. Oh, gross. This magazine is filthy.
All right. Uh, I think we're gonna save it here, guys. Um, we're gonna switch games. Gonna do one thing. Actually, no. We're gonna go cabin really quick. David Wright's cabin is out in the middle of nowhere. The place appears to be totally abandoned. The door's unlocked, but as soon as I step inside, I sense something wrong. Like I'm just about to open a carton of milk that's been sitting out in the sun too long. Alright, so we're gonna save it here. We got to the cabin. Call it cabin. All right, so we're gonna leave it here, guys. We got a little, far, got pretty far. We got through day, got up to day two. So we'll exit this, and we're gonna, we're gonna just do a chill for about an hour. Uh, I am gonna take a break. I'm gonna take a quick little break, and um, we'll switch over games as soon as I come back. Uh, let's see if I can. There you go. All right, there you go. So there we go. I'll be back in a few minutes, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and leave this the um, giveaway going for for the next stream. Uh, we might actually do it in the next stream. We'll see. All right, I'll be back in about six minutes. Thank you. 